Hello and welcome everybody to our first live recording of an episode on Twitch, not just a VOD, an episode. Welcome, welcome. Here on All the Mods 9 beta on my server you can join IP in the description or if you're watching this live, exclamation mark IP here in Twitch. Guys, I want to try something right off the bat. I have bred another crystalline B that we are going to grow up. While we can use the pokey gene sampler to slowly get prosperity genes to make eggs, there is another method to get genes that in every mod pack I've ever played, I've never used. Grabbing the B book, I know it's somewhere. Uh, oh, that's right. If I want to pull it up, I need to patch only. There we go. Big book of bees. If we take a look at the big book of bees in the blocks, at the bottler and come to the genetics page. It tells you, oh, nope, I don't want the transferring here, here. Let's come over here. Collecting genes. A bottler with a piston can be used to bottle up bees. Place a bee in the middle, pull the lever, make sure the bottler has empty bottles inside and throw the bottled bee in a centrifuge to separate the useful from the junk. I want to see how many genes this gives. I have no idea how well this is going to work at all. I've never used this method. I have always used pokies. So we need a bottler. Pretty simple uh, pattern here. Normally use this to put honey in a bottle or other various liquids we'll need some glass bottles and a piston and then to make this easier on myself we're gonna get some glass where does my glass keep going I make I made 20,000 glass earlier and it's just gone okay We'll put our bottler right here. A little bit of glass on the sides. Rip, they removed hosting on Twitch. What? I I hosted someone just like earlier this year, didn't I? What happens if I type the command? Host. <gasps> what? Can you still raid? You can still raid, but you can't host. What? That is strange. I don't understand. Hosting was a big deal. That was, uh, that's really weird. Auto hosting's gone too. Only suggested channels. You just blew my mind, Rare. What have they done? But guys, let's turn this Crystalline B into a Prospera B. Oops. And let's see how many genes we are going to get. I, I want to be very precise here, so I'm going to put the B and I'm going to... Oh, dang it. Put the B and lock him in. Okay. So we've got bottles in the bottler. Squashed B material. Okay. And we centrifuge. Right? Blew your own. <laughs> we centrifuge the squashed bee material. 
Okay, so we got 19%. That's not too bad. Big ol' Donut redeemed Hydrate. I don't have water. Can I drink a soda for Hydrate? <laughs> I'm going to open up a Pepsi Cherry. Fallen caught lacking on Hydrate, right? It's because I usually have my mug of water, but I did not fill it up before this stream. I just wanted to go live. So I will owe you a water hydrate donut. Let's have a look here at what we are up to on Prospera B. Where is it? Up to 24%. So that that's not too bad of a process. I was just, I was more looking for, I wanted to see if it would give me 100% of the gene. It definitely does not. But to help speed up the process of us getting an awakened bee, we will just squash a bunch of uh, Prospera bees today throughout our process what i'll do is can prospera bees breed among themselves i don't think they can nope this species cannot breed among themselves so you have to make them over and over which is annoying but what we'll do is we'll we'll make a few bees turn them all to prospera bee and Crush them. And hopefully get a hundred percent gene to put on an egg. Come on, one more. Oh, we're missing a cage. All right, let's grow them up. And you know what, we'll, we'll automate this. I know this is kind of messy, but I want to walk away from this. So I will put a pipe chest, pipe chest, pull, pull, throw all my children in here and give this some honey treat. I think it should be able to fill from the top. Yeah, there we go. I just want to see this work. Okay, perfect. Then we'll take our crystalline bees and a few prosperity blocks. That should be an adult Prospera Bee. And all we have to do is crush them. 14%, that's not too bad. Can I speed this up? Oh, my cages went away. There we go. Wish there was a better way for me to... I wish I could think of a way to automate this better. But I feel like the time it would take to automate is not worth it. All right, another Prospera Bee. Keep on crushing here. Sh 
should get... There should be enough bees for a 100% prosperity gene, right? Right? I'm thinking so. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. We, we're getting faster. You make me complete. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's keep going. No, no stopping. I wonder if I could just be quick. Yeah, I don't even need to do the glass. What are we up to anyway? I'll let that I'll let that sort. We'll look after the next bee. I feel kind of bad squashing them. Honestly. All right, let's take a look here. We'll let all the genes combine and see what we're up to. Hundred percent prosperity, perfect. Then we come to the incubator. Take out all the honey treats. Grab a egg. And I do need one honey tree, like so. And I go egg, honey tree, prosperity. Uh, for those who don't know from the previous stream, we are trying to make an awakened supremium bee so that I don't have to farm cognizant dust. And we needed a Prospera bee spawn egg. I actually completed a quest somewhere. Oh yeah, there you go. Got a few quests to complete. I probably have more to turn in, honestly, everywhere. What's this one? A catcher? Oh, yeah. I don't need a catcher right now. Okay. So the Prosper Bee Spawn Egg. We now come over to Infusion Crafting. Not Awakening, but Infusion first. Please don't spawn the bee. Please go on the... Oh, okay. And I'm going to type in Essence. Uh, it doesn't show the blocks. I will add mystical instead. So not the coal blocks, but we need... It's going to be up at the top. I need four inferium. With four inferium essence. Then... I need four Prudentium and four Prudentium Essence. Let's do these ones first. Let's do this first. Inferium. Why didn't that take it out of my inventory? Did I grab eight? I don't know. Here we go. Inferium B. Perfect. 
Perfect. Inferium B spawn egg. Then we're going to go all the way up to Rudentium. You do have to go tier by tier. You can't just shoot to the end. It doesn't work. Oh, something's something's wrong with my recipe here. Yeah, it says Prudentium. Maybe I had to pick it up and put it back. Yep, that was the case. Okay, after Prudentium, we need Tertium. I need four Tertium blocks and four Tertium. Should be Tertium Spawn Egg done. Next up is Imperium. And I need... Need that. I need Imperium Block. Oh, we gotta wait till... I gotta wait till this one finishes. After this one is going to be Supremium, and after Supremium, Awakened, which uh, we're probably going to have to make some Awakened Essence, so we're going to have to kill a couple Withers. All right, please give me four Supremium. You know what? I'll request five and just turn one into Supremium. Oh, why is it doing it the stupid way? Okay, hold on. We'll do this manually. I'm going to take a Master Infusion Crystal at Mystical. And I will handle this myself. Take a bunch of Prudentium. Put it all in the ME system. And then... One, two, three, four. Get all the Tertium. One, two, three, four. Put it all away. One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and put down Supremium. We'll have to fix our recipes in the ME system eventually. But here is a Supremium B. The Supremium B to be awakened is four awakened Supremium block. I'm actually, I'm going to need this. So I'll put the B away. And I don't think I have enough cognizant dust. We'll, we'll try. We'll try to make awakened Supremium. For a oh I have I have enough dust I have enough so cognizant dust one two three four and I need earth essence water essence fire essence and air. Let's see if the bug is still in place. I believe. So it should only consume 10. But there was a bug. That when you did the ritual, it consumed all 40. 
We'll find out. It's been fixed now. Perfect. Yep. It kept 30. Beautiful. So we can do all four pretty quick here. And this, and then the B is the four blocks. Yeah, we'll, we'll be good. We'll be good. Okay, three. And last one we need. And for those wondering why we need so much Awakened Supremium, is for the Awakened Supremium upgrade because we are making an ultimate essence farm in the beyond. And I need these Supremium upgrades for both the seed reprocessors and the harvesters. Because we're not doing the pylon harvester method because that creates too much lag, in my opinion, for the size of farm we are creating. We're going to use harvesters. So I'm going to place the four Awakened Supremium we'll do earth, water, fire, and air with the B. And there it is, Awakened Supremium B. And you know what I didn't check? What does it flower on? Okay, we do need to make one more Awakened Supremium block. So air. Oh, okay. I guess I, I should have just left this as fire. Fire, air, earth, water. We have exactly enough cognizant dust. Which is awesome. I was prepared to kill withers. And I'm going to get a cage. Take our awakened Supremium B. Come over here and tell you what, I'm going to set it up in this one. Now we got normal productivity. We're, go we're going to attempt a couple things here. I'm going to try to give it medium endurance. High productivity. What was its temper? Passive? Perfect. Uh, I do want to give it... Weather tolerance rain if we can. We only have 53%, but I'm going to try. We're going to have a 54% chance to make this Metaternal. I have no idea if it's going to work. Can you put multiple genes now? Ah, perfect. All right, so we've got 100% high productivity, 100% medium endurance, 54% metaternal behavior, and 53% rain. Let's give this a try. Please tell me he got the metaternal. Perfect. All the genes applied. So he'll work day and night and through rain with high productivity. Which is exactly what we want. And then I'm actually going to process a bunch of my Draconic Comb. We haven't actually set... You know what? Maybe... Why don't we set up the centrifuge? The actual powered centrifuge setup. So we're going to take these. And along this, I was thinking to do it on the wall. Now I'm kind of debating where I want to do it. You know what? I'm going to do them up here. So I'm going to make a long row of these. And we're going to use XNet because I love using XNet to do multiple 
systems through single point contact. So, um, what would be the best? I'm going to actually take an oak netherite chest. Yeah, we're going to we're going to do all of this with Xnet. Now that I'm thinking about it, this is going to work great. Just you watch. I'm going to put down the oak netherite chest, give it stack upgrades as buffer. And from our network, we're going to add an import and an export bus. Now, the export bus, we're going to take comb, and I'm going to start with just draconic comb, because that's what I need right now. But what I'm going to do is put in the draconic comb and excel cards. You guys know the deal with those. But here's the trick. I'm going to let this fill up the first slot with draconic comb. And now that that's in the first slot, I believe a fuzzy will get all the combs. And for the import bus, funny enough, we're actually going to do the same thing, but opposite. I actually want an extended import bus, and I don't think we ever made that pattern. So we'll give this just a second. I'm, I all my system is working pretty hard right now. Okay, here's an extended import, import bus, and I'm going to disconnect it while we're editing its settings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a comb, acceleration cards, and fuzzy. But then what I'm going to do is invert. So now it'll blacklist combs, right? That should work. So no comb should be taken out. Perfect. And now we need Xnet. We're going to put connectors down the middle here. And I will remember to use control C, control V this time. But let's get a controller. Actually, I'm going to put a, the controller right here. And the point right here. Would it be too much of a flex for you to come watch this? Come watch what? I'll come watch something. I don't care. It's always cool to see the progress people make on the server. We will TPA big old donut. Oh, <laughs> all the all the mod stars they're making. Good old donut community. I'm excited to work with them next uh, next season. To be the dedicated Greg guy for the Greg star. That is gnarly. Look at all those stars. Ah, oh, I'm going to get sad watching this. I'm going to go back to my base. <laughs> this is the craft of 75. You're crafting 75? Dang. That is crazy. All right, very first thing we're going to do is come to Channel Light and create a energy network. And I'll just call this channel energy. I'm going to create a extract here. 
Shouldn't need more than 100,000 a tick. And then I'm just going to create a insert on every other machine for power. Minus, this is connected directly to the point, and that's the chest. We don't need that. Next up, from the chest, we're going to make a item channel, and this is going to be called combs. And the combs channel why isn't this working? Are we lagging? Oh, we were lagging. Okay, it's gonna extract, if it can, up to stacks at five ticks in operation. But what I'm going to do is take this and match tags. And then we want to insert to all of our machines here and tell you what I just had an idea because we actually have to deal with honey as well I am not going to import from the chest I am instead going to put a interface up here and the reason we want that interface is because now yep cable and or bus extracts these should oh you know what we need to do Wait, why aren't these? Okay, it got the power, but something's not working with the comb. I'm just going to pure extract. Uh, I believe so, Donut. I think it does. All right, next. Oh, man, that kills the frame rate. All the combs inside. I wonder if I can hide the combs and they won't render. Nope, they are definitely rendering. Oof. Well, hopefully, when this gets caught up, we won't have an issue. I'm going to turn off my shaders for a moment to make the game run a little smoother. And we're going to come and create a, we'll do item network first. So create item, call this items, there's no reason to not just call it that. And we are going to insert to our interface and extract. from all of our centrifuges. And then the other thing we need to extract is honey with a fluid channel. This doing it this way makes it really nice and clean. Just one connection to everything call this honey. Insert and extract. 10 and 5,000 possible. Copy this and paste it down the row. Now we do need to put speed in all of these centrifuges.
I don't think I have enough made. We'll have to make more. But we'll definitely speed this up. Okay, that one's done. Four to that one. Four. 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 I need some more here. And I'm only going to speed up these top ones for now because we're going to make the better. Oh, wait, no. These are the only speeds that work in centrifuges. We need... We do need more of these. I'm going to let them craft for a second here. Two, three, four, 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 four. Let me keep going here. Uh, I've got one donut. I can help you in just a second. Oh, man. The frame rate with shaders, that is rough. Let's keep going here. I'm making the lag base. Maybe we should have done this in a hyper box or something. Oof, that frame rate. Appreciate it? Yeah, no problem, man. And we just need a few more, I think. Hey, okay, there we go. So those are all running. But granted, when they're full of comb, it wrecks my frame rate. Unless I'm far enough away. Hmm, what could I do to fix that? I actually don't know. This is working. It is going to have have to run for a bit. I've got quite the backlog of combs. But look at the speed we are processing. Awesome sauce. I'm going to try to throw, I'm going to try to change it to Skulk next. And I'll show you why we want Skulk next. What we're trying to automate is the, oh, come on. There we go. Should do Skulk once the Draconic runs out. And why we want to do that is if we have a look at going for the Omega Productivity. This requires Heart of the Seas, which we don't quite have the patterns for yet. But we will. We'll have Heart of the Seas because those can be made with Essence. But we can go all the way to Gamma because we're going to get Echo Shards from the Skulk Comb. And we'll go from we'll go from Beta to Gamma and from Alpha to 
beta, which requires the draconic chunks. And that, my friends, is why we needed all these various materials. Is so I can make... Not, not Omega. Well, oh my gosh. Um, what was the tier before it? Alpha, Beta, Gamma. Yeah, Gamma. We got to wait for the Echo Shards from the Skulk Bees. Okay, we're now producing those. So let's see. Oh my gosh, I just forgot the, the name of it again. Gamma. Gamma, 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 gamma. So I can request 100. What are we short of? Honey essence for honeycomb. And it would require 26,000 dust. So in that case, can we make 10? Nope, still short draconic dust. And I make four. Hey, there we go. And I'm going to throw these on the draconic bees. Because those are what are limiting us. I'm going to take three. And I'm going to stop the pokey genes on these guys. They are just going to go hardcore. Getting me draconic dust. That is what they, that is all they need to do. Who's your right now? Cool. Cool. And I do want to put the other ones. Let's get four of these. And they're going to be on the Awakened Supremium B. Those who don't know, the simulator Gamma also functions or productivity gamma, not only is a 200% uh, productivity increase, but also functions as a simulator. The reason you want the final one gamma is gamma also changes them to the block upgrade. If you don't know what the block upgrade is, they give you full home blocks like this that you can then turn into the comb that needs to be processed. And we're going to do that through an automatic uh, system. For now, I'm going to just turn this myself. All of this processed. Okay. Um, I could go here with one of them. I do want three Pokey Gene, though. So let's just try to get one more gamma. Do we have enough resources? We don't. Ah, darn. This should catch up on combs. Slowly and surely, this is going to take some time, but it will get done. And we're going to get a lot of resources from it, which is awesome. And slowly we'll put in the better upgrades on these bees and make the other bees too. This Awakened Supremium Comb 
is 10% chance, so it's not it's not too bad. My phone is going off like crazy. What is going on? Okay. Rancher B, yep. Already have Rancher. So we're getting the quest done. We do have skeletal bees that we need to turn into withered bees to make all the modium and then breed all the modium and vibranium to get unobtainium. But we'll worry about that later. Right now, for lily pads of fertility, I got a creeper and skeleton data model to basic. The skeleton is already running, but I had, uh, I've, I've ran out of simulation chambers. So I need to throw down one more simulation chamber and I wanted to do it like this. Do I have regular XNAC cable? Ah, whatever. We'll put a connector. And I'm actually going to transfer power to it through XNet because I'm kind of lazy. So over here, I need to insert power. I need to insert items. And I need to extract items. Should be that simple. It will just throw in the creeper data module. And then we need two loot fabricators. I'm going to I'm going to slow down. I'm going to turn off processing on channel 3 for a moment. Because what I need is my skeleton predictions will give them power and then this one will be skeleton prediction and wait that works right yeah we're good skeletal prediction uh nbt match and this one is going to be creeper prediction. Oh, that's right. I can't drag it. We have to get... Nope, not slime. We need a creeper prediction. Oh, wow. We're getting really unlucky. There we go. Wait till it pulls it. I may have to come grab it ourselves here. This one will be creeper and then we will just extract. On that one. Then over here on the extract from the chest, I need to add. Oops. Oops, I'm messing up. Creeper skeleton and I need to re add slime. Perfect. Let's turn processing back on. And this one should get skeletal, which we're going to say we want ribs. And this one is getting wither. We messed up. Oh, NBT. Reaper, we want catalyzed gland. I just woke up and I thought it was 6 a.m., not p.m. Rip. Rip. Sorry to hear that. That's always a sad time. Sad, sad time. Okay. So that'll start producing everything we need for the lily pads of fertility. 
We need the catalyzing glands, the rib bone. We already set up the slime pearl. We've got the dye. We've got everything else. Awesome. It's exactly all that we need. Um, I need to check something really fast. Our wedding party chat is like blowing up and I need to know why. Okay. Oh, oh. An all the mod star block 1x compressed. Good night, man. What what the loot? The flex. The flex, guys. <laughs> oh gosh all right so that's running we got our first oh gosh the lag when i'm by these i'm gonna have to find a setting to cull those those combs but we are processing pretty quick now we're doing slimy then aluminum copper diamond lapis vibranium and then ender Okay. We are processing faster than we're getting combs, which is good. We're probably getting a crazy amount of honey pretty quick here. Yeah, look at that. It's just climbing. Just climbing. What if I powered my entire base with honey generators? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of bees to make. If you come to the bee quest line... There is a lot of bees. Big old donut just cheered 30 bits. Thank you so much, donut. You are too kind. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. A lot of bees to get, but this is all for the... Uh... Mega Essence Farm plan here in the beyond that I demonstrated last stream. Where the lily pads of fertility will be on waterlogged leaves, then the seeds, then two layers for the growth accelerators, and then the next layer will start the waterlog again. And this is going to go all the way up with harvesters on the side. I'm going to do... For those who don't know, the harvester goes in... Uh, like a over, up, well, it goes over, over, over the whole area. It doesn't do the whole area at once. So we're going to have a harvester facing this side and this side to maximize harvesting. And it'll go all the way up from down here at the bottom of the build limit. Can't build any lower than this. And it's going to go all the way up to, to the top. It's going to be the ultimate essence farm that will be server lag friendly, which is the big, uh, the big kahuna. The, the, the main reason we're building this farm, how we're building it is for lag friendly mass essence. So I'm, I'm super excited. I think this is going to be fun, a good build, but we needed to get the awakened supremium up and running and we needed to get the lily pads of fertility up and running and then we're gonna have to just let this run for a while and once I have enough prosperity genes I'm gonna make another prosperity bee or a uh, inferium bee level it up we're not going to use this just I don't know it's too manual 
squashing the bees. We'll just wait for the genes. Now that we have Oh wait, we didn't we didn't put it in. Isn't this where I was putting it? What did I do with it? I swear we made it to put here. Where did I put it? I actually don't know. I'll have to find it and make another one. We'll put it right here so that we have three pokey and speed and we'll, oh, I'm not thinking. It needs to come over here. This is for the Metaternal. This is for the Prospera Bee. It needs to come over here. It needs to replace, we can put two in. We'll do two pokey, two speed. That should give us a lot of genes of Prospera B. But just to be on the safe side, we will, I'll make more Prospera Bs. I don't, I don't see any real reason not to. Okay. I, uh, I think I'm going to call the Twitch stream for all the mods nine here. I'll probably be live again later. Uh, I'd like to thank anybody for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.